So to pin the circle bottom in place, I am going to pin with right sides together and I'm going to locate a notch on my circle bottom. I'm going to line it up with my very center point of my bag and that's the same place where I had my loop. So I'm going to pin right sides together. This will just be my first of many pins. To get this to work correctly, you are going to need to use a lot of pins. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to go to my next notch. So I found a notch on the bag and I found my notch on my circle. And I'll put a pin right there. And then I'm going to rotate. And same thing, I'm going to find my next notch on both the bag and the circle. Pin there. And finally, I have one more notch on each of the bag and the circle. There we go. So I've pinned it in four places. That's where you'll want to start. And then you are going to work between two notches. So between this pin and this pin, I am going to pull those to match. Okay, I may have to let out some of the gathering, but that's okay. So halfway between this pin and this pin, I'm going to put a pin. And then halfway between those two, I'll put another pin. And I'll do the same thing between these two pins. Okay. So now I've got one section pinned and ready to go. Then I'm going to go between these two pins. Same thing. And I might need to stretch out that gathering stitch just a little bit, kind of pull it because you want these to fit nice and smooth. So I'm going to go halfway between those two pins. Put my pin there. Halfway here and here. So I will just keep repeating this process until I have pinned all the way around. So if you've seen enough, you can stop the video, but I'll keep showing. In the very last section, now you may have heard it a minute ago that my thread did break a little bit. It's okay. Um, it's really not a big deal when that happens. Still going to do the same. In fact, I may need to go ahead and rip this one just a little bit to even get this to fit right. There we go. Alright, awesome. Now I'm almost there. Just a couple more pins to put in. And then I am done. So when you have it to this point, you are ready to sew pretty much. But what I want to do is I want to go back and look and like see right there, right here, there's some gaps. So I want to close those gaps up before I start sewing. So I just pulled it a little bit and I'm going to put another pin in there. I'm going to look for any more spots like that and just keep adding. So smooth it out, add a pin, and there's another spot right there. Smooth it out, add another pin, and that will just save you so much headache later if you catch those spots now. And just get it as smooth as possible before you start sewing. Alright, All right, so there we are pretty good.